Hey guys, today I've got a customer that wants me to do trophies for a kid's soccer award. Now, we have gone ahead and done colored versions of the artwork that's here behind me, but we thought let's change it and give him a different option and let's mess around a bit. So I thought let's do the exact same trophy design, but let's do it in black and white on holographic vinyl. Now, before we get any further, let's get into design and then I can explain what we're actually going to be doing. Okay, so the first thing we've got here is our player's number, the club that he is in, the badge of the club, the year, then we've got the player's name and what he has achieved. So this person will be top scorer and then the number of goals. And then underneath we've got all of his physical attributes. You know, how good is he at defense? How good is he at physical? Now this is quite a cool, unique trophy design and then we've got the player's picture here. Now obviously I can't show you the pictures of the kids because I don't have permission for that. So we decided for this video that we're going to do a black and white version on hologram. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and change the color of the whole item so we can get the outer shape of it. From there we're going to drag it into Illustrator and vectorize the shape. And this is going to be used for laser cutting the ABS so it's the same shape as the item that we're printing. So the first thing we need to do is trace it, ungroup it and then we expand our results, delete the white background and from there I can export as a DXF which then we can take into RDWorks and from here we just go ahead and import. Now we just need to double check its size once we've done that. The power settings I'm going to be using is 30 speed, we're going to be using 85% power and I'm going to be cutting this around about twice for a perfect cut. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and save to you file. Once we've done there, we can go back to our program and then we can save our artwork as a PNG for print. So we go back to our old uh, design and I'm just going to use a rough estimate on size, drag it over the image and it seems to be the correct size so we can leave it as it is. Now we can unhide the black and then save it as a PNG for print. Right, so now we can get printing and laser cutting. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is go ahead and cut our shield. So. On the program I've used quite a high power and that's purely because we are cutting through 3mm ABS and it does take twice to cut through with a 150 watt tube at 20mm per second and 85% power. And that gives you a really nice clean cut and it doesn't burr the edges or melt any of the edges which is what we're looking for. And just a quick little tip, try and make sure that you don't pick a scratched piece of ABS because when you apply the vinyl over it you're going to see those scratches. So make sure you choose a clean side. Now that we've gone ahead and cut our ABS twice it is just a matter of pulling it straight out of the machine and then we can go ahead and move over to printing. Now the reason why we've chosen hologram is because it has attributes that normal vinyl doesn't. And yes, you don't have your white background for a full color image, but if you change your image like the way I have, printing on hologram really does have a special effect. The fact that if you change the angle of it and you look at it in different lights, the color of the rainbow really does pop out of the vinyl. And keep in mind, this is almost eight times more expensive than your normal vinyl per meter because it only comes in 610 wide. But boy, it does look really nice. Now, I have chosen my UV printer for this purely because I don't want wherever I've printed solid black for hologram to shine through. Now, if you use an eco-solvent printer, you'll definitely have that problem because it is liquid ink. It is not a solid base of ink and the hologram will shine through it and it will make the black look grey and whatever grey we've printed as a very light shade 
and it just doesn't show enough definition. So I've used my UV printer so that I could get solid colors on top of the hologram and you'll see once it's printed on how it really does turn out quite nice. So once we've gone ahead and printed it, I'm just going to cut it out with a pair of scissors. You can use your plotter cutter, which I do have, but for one item it is not really worth it, so I'm just going to cut it out by hand. And once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and clean my board with just a little bit of sunlight soap and water, and I'm going to pick the cleanest side in terms of no scratches because you don't want any imperfections showing in the vinyl. And then once I've cleaned it, I'm going to spray some of that soapy solution that I have already onto the board, which will help me apply and get the vinyl in the correct place without having it go skew, purely because this is not a square or a circle shape, you want it to line up correctly. All right, guys, we are completely finished and boy, does this thing look so cool. Um, now, comparing the artwork behind me on screen versus what's actually in front of you, the holographic vinyl does not have justice done on the screen. And you get so much color out of it, pointing it at different angles. And, and that's the whole purpose behind holographic vinyl, that it gives you so much depending on which angle you turn it. And if you don't plaster it with ink, you can really get such a cool effect no matter where you're looking at this and if you find such a, a, a sunny place to put it up the light bounces off of it and you get even better results now guys if you do this correctly and and listen to what i've had to say you can get something uh, trippy or retro in that aspect and i just want to say thank you for watching and i really really hope you enjoyed this <music>